Starlin Castro is a four-time All-Star and one of the league's best contact hitters, but he hasn't played since early 2021. What happened to Starlin Castro? Where is he now? And will he ever play in the majors again? We will answer that and more in today's video. Starlin Castro was signed as an international free agent by the Cubs back in 2006 and he was a quick riser through their farm system. Just three years after getting signed as a 16 year old, Castro was the number one prospect in the Cubs entire farm system. He started the 2010 season in the minors but was called up by the Cubs to make his MLB debut on May 7, 2010 at only 20 years old. In his first major league at bat, he hit a three-run home run and later on in the game hit a triple. On the day, he recorded six RBIs, which is an MLB record for most RBIs in a debut. Altogether, in 125 games during his rookie season, Castro slashed 300, 347, 408 with three home runs and ironically, his 347 on base percentage was the highest mark of his career. 2011 was Castro's first full season in the big leagues and it was the first of four all-star appearances. He built off and improved from his rookie campaign and slashed 307, 341, 432 and saw major jumps in home runs, RBIs, and stolen bases. To top it off, his 207 hits that year were the most in the National League and he became the youngest person ever to lead the National League in hits. Kasher followed up his All-Star 2011 season with another All-Star season in 2012 in which he played a full 162 games. During August of the 2012 season, the Cubs viewed Castro as a franchise piece going forward and extended him on a 7-year deal worth $60 million. The first year after signing the extension was the worst year of his career as Castro saw an increase in strikeouts, a decrease in walks, and drops in all major hitting categories. Following a disappointing 2013 season, Castro bounced back with a huge 2014 campaign and was named to his third All-Star game in four years. In 151 games, he hit 292 with 14 home runs, 65 RBIs, and his 115 OPS Plus was the highest mark of his career. 2015 ended up being his final season with the Chicago Cubs as at the time the Cubs had two stud young middle infielders in Addison Russell and Javier Baez on the horizon. Trade rumors were speculated midseason and Castro even got benched for a few days and was later forced to move to second base for Russell. On top of being shortstops, I wonder what else these two guys have in common. After the 2015 season and six seasons in Chicago, Castro was traded to the New York Yankees in the offseason for relief pitcher Adam Warren. Castro would spend two seasons in New York with the Yankees and put up two productive years in 16 and 17 with the club. 2017 was the better of the two and included his fourth and final All-Star Game appearance. For the second time in his career during the 2017 offseason, he was traded, this time to the Miami Marlins as part of the Giancarlo Stanton deal. Similar to New York, he spent two seasons in Miami and continues to produce stats that were in line with his career numbers. However, in 2019, he showed off the power and set a career high in home runs, RBIs, while playing a full 162 for the second time in his career. 2019 marked 10 years since Cashier's debut and he was in elite territory. In 10 seasons, he recorded 1,617 hits, and since his debut in 2010, he ranked 4th in all of Major League Baseball in that category. During the 2019 season, he also became the 35th player in MLB history to reach 1,600 hits before turning 30 years old. At one point, and I even made a video talking about this, I believe Starling Castro was capable of reaching 3,000 hits due to the path that he was on, but that likelihood is all but over. Anyways, after two seasons with the Marlins, Castro was a free agent and signed a two-year deal with the Washington Nationals, but only appeared in 103 games across 2020 and 2021. In June of 2021, Castro was placed on the restricted list after the club announced he was leading the team to deal with the family situation that required immediate attention. Just a few months later in September, Castro ended up being released by the Washington Nationals and suspended 30 games by Major League Baseball for violating the league's domestic violence policy. 
As of now, he's currently 32 years old and a free agent, but since his release, there have been no rumors of any teams interested in him or the desire on his behalf to return to the big leagues. If this is the end of Castro's career, he finishes as a lifetime 280 hitter with 1,700 plus hits and four all-star appearances under his belt.